Okay, children, let's take our seats. Good morning, kids. So great to see you. I know it's always a little hard coming back from a break. You know, you know, we've had a few distractions, but let's just pick up where we left off. Kids, over this last break, I met somebody, and uh, I'm pretty excited. And uh, we've been really enjoying each other's company, and you know, things got physical. His name is Rick, and uh, well, anyway, I really want. We don't to give a him. fuck, bro. You know, he's a, he's a little nervous. I, I should it. be going. Okay, okay. Well, you're gonna come pick me up after school. Yeah, yeah. You're done at four. I'll be ready like three thirty. They like you. No, they do. No, that's just spam being bam. They don't give a shit about you. Bye, that's Rick. just the truth. <laughs> He's a very inappropriate teacher. Teach now. Oh shit, it's Marcus. Should I answer it? No. I have to answer it. He's gonna suspect something. Just keep quiet about Rick. Don't say anything. Hey, hey Marcus, what's up? No. No. I'm in the classroom with the kids. Aren't aren't I kids? Oh, okay, you couldn't really hear them, but I'm with the kids. No. Who's Rick? We've never heard of Rick, have we, kids? What is wrong with you? You don't listen. <coughs> they suck. Completely go against my direction. What's going on here, students? I ask them for a response and nothing. First, they just sit there when I need their focus and their <coughs> energy, and when I ask them for you, kids know that these teachers are doing their very best for your benefit. I don't know how much more I can take of this. I'm sick and tired of students thinking they can walk all over their teachers who give you everything they've got. I've got enough problems as it is. I tell you what else, this Friday for pajama day at school, this class does not get to wear their pajamas. What Who cares? You heard me. No pajama day for this class. Now maybe you remember to have some respect for your teacher. This is bullshit. Whoa, 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 wait. We are not gonna just stand for this. You know what I'm saying? Because that's bro, bullshit. Bruh. Bruh. What does Matt Damon say on that Bitcoin commercial? Fortune favors the brave. My dad said he listened to Matt Damon and lost all his money. Yes, Damn. everyone did, but they were brave to, <laughs> have to stand up for ourselves, you guys. I say we go right to the principal's office, tell him what's up. Bro. Is that true? Is y'all lose your money listening to Matt Damon? Why the fuck would you listen to Matt Damon? The dude's a fucking dumbass. Yeah. I mean, he's a good actor, speak with you about the but that's it. All right, send him in. If he gives you some acting advice, you know, possibly you might want to listen to him, but financial advice? Pajamas on pajama day? No. <laughs> Stupid anyway. I'm sorry, ladies. I've made a decision and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Mr. Principal, we really didn't do anything wrong. I appreciate your sentiment, but as principal of the school, it's my job to make decisions and stand by them to maintain order. Do you know how long we wear for pajama day? You can't force us to wear normal clothes? What is this, Nazi Germany? Hey, how many times have I told you kids not to bring up Nazi Germany when you don't get something you want? Get out! You're a fascist, and this whole school stinks of Nazis! Yeah. I can't believe the things these students say sometimes. You better quit while you're ahead. What? You don't understand how important pajama day is to kids. It's like the Met Gala for children. Is his voice if different? If I change my mind now, I look weak. Okay. But I don't think this is going to end up the way you want it to. Sounds different to me. Did they change his actor? I would too, buddy. <laughs> Wussy. Yes, hello, Mrs. Cartman. This is the school principal returning your call. What can I do for you? Uh, yes. I understand that you told my child that he isn't allowed to wear pajamas this Friday. Well, what is this, Nazi Germany? Your son is part of a class that lost their pajama day privilege, correct? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't think it's safe for Eric to not wear his pajamas on pajama day. He could die. Well, I've already made my decision, and it's final. Well, I'm not really sure where you get off telling me what my son can and can't wear. What do you think about that? Yeah, yeah, Mom. Time to fuck off. In fact, I think you can fuck off. Miss Cartman, if you're worried about <coughs> your son's safety, then perhaps you should just keep him home for pajama day. I, I can just keep him home on pajama day? No, I can't stay home because you have to go to work because fucking Matt Damon told you fortune favors the brave, and now you lost all your fucking money. Matt Damon told me fortune favors the brave and I lost all my fucking money. I'm sorry, 
I'm going to rally all the parents, and I'm going to the press. If my son can't wear his pajamas to school, then no kids are going to wear their pajamas to school. Fuck yes, Mom, that was fucking sweet. Hell yeah, Kira's there. You fucked it up, Mom. Hell yeah, Mom. She's a real... Hey! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Come on, his mom served you on that one. Fuck off! Students are being reprimanded for bad behavior. Yeah. Parents are left wondering. Niemann sie meinen Schlaufenzug? Hold on now. Schools mandate has caused a backlash with members of the community who are now wearing their pajamas to work in protest. Oh shit! You gotta turn this into a press thing. Yeah. PC bitch. <laughs> so the whole city's wearing pajamas now. All because of this principle. Fucking up. Top top. Hey guys, I just want to say I'm really proud to be a part of this office. Wearing our pajamas shows that we care about those school kids. That we care about other people. South Park Realtors! South, South Park, Park Realtors! Hey guys, sorry I'm a little late. Got a flat tire on the interstate. What's the latest news? What's going on, Mike? Well, what do you mean? You're not wearing pajamas. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't really want to wear pajamas. We're all wearing pajamas. Yeah, I just didn't want to with the rain and slush outside. It just didn't make any sense to wear pajamas. Uh, Mike, we're trying to do the right thing, and it only works if we all wear pajamas. <coughs> Hold on now. You can't force me to wear pajamas. What is this, Nazi Germany? We aren't telling you to wear pajamas, but I'm pretty sure this sign right here on the door says you have to wear pajamas. Hey, Mike, just put on some pajamas. It's not a big deal. Good, if it's not a big deal, then I'll choose not to wear pajamas. You redneck, gun-toting piece of shit. Damn. Ladies. Where did that come from? We have been at war for too long. Redneck, yes, gun-toting, son of a bitch. Can't the can't guy has a suit on. I mean, how did you get that from that? That was a hardcore stretch, you dumb bitch. <laughs> we must put our differences aside. Because we all want... Damn. <laughs> Tomorrow, we all tell Mr. Garrison he was right and that we've been terrible students, that we weren't listening, and that he deserves to be angry with us. We tell him how much we care and that we want to see him more as a human being than just a teacher. That is just the kind of manipulated, psychotic thinking that we needed. We can do this. We just have to be brave. But not too brave or else Matt Damon will come and take all our money. All right, dude, can we lay off the Matt David jokes, please? They're just getting old. Tom Warman, no, did that really happen? I'm gonna Google that shit because if Matt Damon did take everybody's money, that's fucked up. Opponents are claiming that the jokes are already tired and Matt Damon had every right to make a Bitcoin commercial. So the jokes need to stop. All we can say is, Vert Zeihen for Davidzer. Because it's getting real Nazi Germany up in here. Back to you, Tom. Bro. Matt Damon's a piece of shit for doing that, though. I'm sorry, sir, but we aren't seating anyone who isn't wearing their pajamas. Please, ma'am, I just want to sit down and eat. I understand, but the management prefers that everyone inside be nice and comfy wumpy. So I have to be comfy wumpy to get a Rudy Tooty fresh and fruity. Sir, I'm just the hostess here. If you prefer, you only need to wear your pajamas to get in. You don't have to wear them at your table while you're actively eating. So it's okay if we put on our pajamas, walk through the whole restaurant to the table, and then take our pajamas off. What is the fucking point? Damn, this whole city's stupid. What seems to be the problem here? Oh, I see. Gehe ek ens gefangus? Prince du mek du fjord? What the fuck is going on? This town is kind of weird. Remember, no matter how angry he is, tell him he's right. Nah. I don't need time. I need you. I said, can I just come over? And the way he held me when I got to his house, it was like, oh, this is security. And then later on when we were in bed, I had my head on his chest. I was just playing. Come on, man. This is inappropriate stuff. Excuse me, telling Carter, these kids. Paying attention. Could somebody wake Butters up, please? 
I'm sorry, oh, Butters. Am I stupid ass you? Butters? Uh, no, sir. Okay, well then maybe you can tell me what Rick said when I told him about Marcus. Uh, yeah. Anybody? Does anyone know what I said when Rick held me tight? This is. This is really nice. This is security. None of you are paying attention. None of you know the answers, do you? What's going on, students? Oh God damn it! Man, fuck that! Jesus, I've never seen so many arrests in one day. Sir, we got another one. B but she's wearing pajamas. Yeah, but she was caught shitting on the car of a guy who wasn't wearing pajamas. That's right, and I'd do it again. All right, put her in with the others. Hey, don't put that pajama wearing slut in here with us. Chief, they're asking for your assistance down on Brighton Street. Is there any way the two of you can go to sleep tonight in this house together? He's not getting in bed in his clothes. Okay, then you can just come sleep downtown at the station. Take her in, boys. What? Oh, my God! Ha-ha, <laughs> bye-bye! They're arresting people in pajamas? What is this, Nazi Germany? <laughs> oh, shit. Arrest those people and all of those people! This whole town is a powder keg about to go Damn! Up. This town is... I would not live in South Park, man. It's a fucked up place to live. Tell your class they can run back home and put on their pajamas. I'll hand in my resignation this afternoon. Sir, maybe people won't lose respect for you if you change your mind. Saying you were wrong is sometimes the strongest thing you can do. You're totally wrong about that. When all these people see I caved in to their insults and their offensive World War II comparisons, I'll be done. Then we can't put on our pajamas. Out of principle. The kids will be okay. At least we still have opposite day to look forward to. No, you... wait. What did you say? I said we'll be okay. No, what day is opposite day at school? It's always the second Friday in March. Test a burger! That's it! <laughs> Attention all students! This is your principal. I need to inform you that a mistake has been made. Mr. Mackey, your counselor, totally screwed up the calendar. Today is not pajama day. It is, in fact, opposite day. Opposite day? What? Opposite day? So we will be having breakfast for lunch in the cafeteria, and anything else you've been told to do, you can now do the opposite. Fuck yes, it's opposite day! Yay! Yay! That's stupid. Don't fall for you dumb kids. When the sun goes down. What time is it? At the end of the day. What time is it? When I played my game. What time is it? And I put them away. What time is it? Oh, then should I be wearing pajamas? I don't know what to wear now. You can't make me wear pajamas. That's fine. You can all wear whatever you want as long as it covers your dick and tits. You can't make me cover my dick and tits. Yes, you can. You're going to jail, you fuck. We don't play that shit where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? We don't wear pajamas. That's for bitches. <laughs> nah, I'm just saying. Subscribe to my shit.